Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, baby. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note, it doesn't matter to me, I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too, okay? Guys, I thank you in advance for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. This is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, okay? If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you, and be sure to ring the bell so that you're notified of future readings. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, Dreams of Gaia, I'm using it for your oracles. And I pulled an animal spirit for you, animal oracle. <clears throat> okay. Well, spirit, trust the great mystery, going with the flow. It's okay not to be in control. Card number 65, which is 11. I think uh, you're being spiritually guided. I think you know it. I think you feel it. Um, and I think that, uh, the energy right now is for you to just dive right in. Okay. Dive right in and trust, um, in your maker, trust in your maker, trust that you're being led to where you're trying to go. Uh, which I know is hard for some of you because, uh, you, you're an air sign. You're a logical thinker. You need things to make sense. Okay, I, you know, I'm a Libra, so I can understand that. But right now, sometimes you just got to say, you know what, God, I trust you. Take it from here. You know what I mean? Bottom of the deck was the beaver. Lay a solid foundation. Now, the beaver, you know, builds the dams a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it's work. It's work. But the work that you're putting in, um, especially the spiritual work that you're uh, putting out right now, it will eventually um, get, uh, you'll have what, you, what you're trying to get. You'll have the solid foundation that you're trying to get. I think you are getting a piece of it now, to be honest with you. I think the dam is just about um, complete, you know, um, Ace of uh, Earth is here centering your energy. Ace of Pentacles energy for traditional tarot. You know, that's divine gift, a large item, car, house, things like that. I did see a, a bracelet here that was really nice. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Gemini, I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, right now your focus is just foundation, period. Um, and you're trying your best to make sure that you have uh, security for yourself, for your family, for your future. Beautiful energy. I think that um, you're okay with being okay right now. Crowning you, uh, you had two carbs come out with the three of water reverse and the uh, six of earth here, six of pinnacle energy. I think that um, you're, you've released uh, old ways. I think some of you released yourself from third-party situations. I think that you found a place where you're like, okay, I'm ready. Uh, the sixth of air energy uh, on this deck, this person is in balance, in tune, um, and okay with being okay. Uh, he holds the lock and the key. OK, so he can secure or release at will, at will. And that's where the energy you're feeling like I feel good. I can have what I want, when I want, how I want. You see it in your future. If you see it, you know, you can get it, period. You know, you can put the work in and you can get it. And that is divine favor with this Ace of Earth energy. Um this comes from, with the scribe here, this uh, night of air energy uh, in the past, it comes from you being open, you being honest, you being truthful, um, and requiring that of others. You may have um, had some honest conversations in the past that kind of freed you. 
you know, uh, or people were honest with you and it freed you. You can no longer um, dwell in the, the, the comfort or they can no longer dwell in the comfort. That's how I feel of, of ignorance. You know, the term ignorance is bliss. It really is. It's a horrible, like, thing to hear but you know you can't unknow something once you know you know and I think that some type of conversation took place which gave you a freedom um and allowed you to have uh peace within peace balance within balance you okay um and uh, redirect your focus to yourself you're moving into a place showing here five of air now this can be conflicting with coming from so much truth, honesty, and openness into a uh, secure foundation, redirecting energy back into confusion. So you may be running into an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that is going through a transformation themselves. Okay, um, this may be you. I personally don't feel like it. I think it's kind of like, it feels like an energy you're running into. Um, but this person kind of like is going through a death process. That's how it feels to me, a death process. Um, that, that rebirth, that, that painful, uh, the, the growing pains, things like that. Uh, removing a mask can be intimidating because you put a lot of time, effort, and energy uh, into falsifying um, uh, the presentation to the world to actually expose your raw nature, uh, the rawness of your pain, and things that you've blindfolded yourself to uh, because this blindfold is... Um, done on on her own there's nobody else in the card okay she put it on herself so there could be some foolishness you're running into five of air can also represent um somebody you know wearing a false face but to me it feels like you're going to run into somebody going through a death process just um take into account that you know how this feels you understand because you went through your own um and don't be too, I guess, judgmental or dismissive um, on how maybe they act, things like that, because they're going through their process. Excuse me, guys, my nose is going crazy. What's undermining you? Emotions over intellect. This is page of water, energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, apologies, love offerings. Uh trying to reconcile, you know, people trying to come back to maybe try to pull in your heartstrings a little bit, or maybe you have like a little nostalgic moment every now and then, uh, right now, whatever it is, the emotion of it is again, slowing you down from moving forward because you're just focused. You're logically thinking, you're thinking about your home, your finances, your foundation, your security, things like that. Um, as you can see, outside of the release um, of this third party or the release and separation of some friends and family, uh, with that three of water, this is the only water on the table. Other than that, past, present, and future is showing air and earth, okay? You're just really, really, really direct with... Um, where you're going. You, that's your focus right now. You're focusing on self. You're focusing on, you know, I, I don't have time. You know, I, I love love, but just not right now. Okay. Just it right now, it, it would just be in the way. It's seen as something that's to be in the way. And we're going to clarify this with the King of Wands. Whew, that's heavy. All right. Um, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo energy here. The King of Wands is extremely passionate, focused, driven. Um, can be a little cocky. Not, not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, uh, because the King of Wands is extremely confident. Now, uh, this confidence uh gives the King the persona of, um, I'm I want a mate. I I don't have to have one. You know, normally they're uh, coupled by choice, 
because they can run their kingdom alone. Very intuitive energy as well. Uh, but the king, this energy to me seems like maybe this is a person in your life that wants to apologize. Uh, it feels like a brother, to be honest. Um, yeah, some type of uh, male, uh, masculine energy. I'll say it like that. Uh, that wants to apologize. And right now... Hmm, you, you either you don't see it as being genuine, you see it as being like calculating, if that makes sense. Uh, because for a king, uh, the energy of a king should give a king's apology. But this king is giving the apology of a page like, um, oops, my bad. You know, sorry. Yes, oops. You know, it, it like almost as if it's um, insulting. That's how it comes off, okay? Um, but we're going to get back into that. I just wanted to clarify it because the card came out for it. Uh, when I cut the deck, I'm going to clarify with Tarot Nefertari. Let's start with where we began here with this scribe, this Knight of Air energy. Tell me more, please, about the night. Thank you so much. And we have the star Aquarian energy. I love it. Spotlight on you, my love. Um... Again, this conversation, whatever took place or the honesty that you started speaking into your life and into yourself, it really um, opened your eyes to the possibility of not just dreaming, but um, reaching those uh, goals, reaching those, uh, reaching the stars. You, you know what I'm saying? Reaching um, heights that you probably thought weren't possible. Tell me more about the star with the Knight of Air, with the Scribe. Thank you. I have a Four of Swords here. Yeah, it's been some time. It's been some time. Your energy again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's been it, it's been time, but now it is time. Okay, Queen of Pentacles here, and we're going with the Ace of Pentacles there. Whatever happened, whatever this epiphany was in your life that the star put that spotlight on um, with your hopes, wishes, and dreams. You really took some time, you thought about it, and you said, you know what, it's time to act on it. Because the queen is extremely proactive in uh, grounding, proactive in um, the foundation, uh, very um, loyal energy, okay? And I think that your loyalty has been transpired uh or transferred uh, into yourself. W whatever it was before, it was. But definitely a decision was made, an epiphany was had, a light came on, the star, you know, fell from the sky. Say it how you want. But it took place and it sparked um, movement in you to ex have extreme focus on your foundation. Now let's talk about this Ace of Earth here. Thank you so much. Six of Wands, Gemini, yes, my loves, yes, 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 victory, success, and everybody is going to know it, everybody is going to see it, congratulations, because this is a congratulatory energy of, uh, of uh, achieving and completing successfully some type of cycle and if you're doing so with this ace of earth you're didn't uh you're having a reward for your journey tell me more knight of chalices okay knight of cups energy we ha may have some love Ugh, i feel like you want to offer that love tell me more about the knight cancer pisces scorpio energy this is a love offer and you're going in extremely confident. Yeah, baby. Three of swords reverse. You're going in confident, upright, chest out, ready, prepared, um, single. Tell me more. Let me just have one more and we'll move on. I'm loving this. Where you are right now is just a really, really, really good place. Thank you. And there's judgment. Final call. Final say. The decision's been made. You're going for it. Kudos to you, Gemini. I love it. Tell me. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Now, here we go. Now, remember this energy crowns you. And you do have the balance. You have made the release. You have made some separation. You have uh, set up your boundaries. The Seven of Swords represents uh, getting away with something. Okay? But I feel that... Uh, 
that's not you. I feel that somebody feels like they got over on you. They just don't know that you don't care, if that makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know what? Go ahead. You can have it. I'm, I'm okay. Take it. I'm all right. And, and they really think they got away with something. And it's not that they did. Yeah, here's the five of swords. Um, they, it's not that they did. They, they're, uh, you know... Uh, because they had malice in their heart. They just, I think you're just okay with it. You're just okay. You know what? Go ahead. I'll be all right. Go ahead. Queen of Cups energy and Three of Cups energy. You know you'll be okay. You know that you have new beginnings uh, coming towards you because you've manifested this. This is what you've been working towards. Uh, your first thought is the foundation, of course, with uh, home and financing, jobs, things like that. Whatever uh, it is that you've been working on um, that solidifies your foundation. But you know that then after that, your pursuance is going to be love if you're single, if you're married or with someone, then your pursuance will be the rejuvenation of that love because uh, you know that you are putting and have been putting a lot of time and energy into yourself. So let whoever got away with whatever, you know, you're like, whatever, I'll, I'll take it. Go ahead. Just, just keep it moving. Okay. Cause right now my focus is on me, my finances and um, emotional fulfillment. It, and it, I think that you get it all. Uh, and you feel that you're going to have it all if you don't have access to it right now as we speak, okay? What's undermining? Now, we have here the Page of Water, and we have the King of Wands. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about, thank you. And we have the Magician. Ow, sugar snaps. Don't call it a comeback. Somebody wants to come back, and you're not having that. And with the Ten of Wands, yeah, you're not having that. You you think it's just too much, too much work, too much drama, too much, too much, too much, too little, too late to ever try again. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm sorry, Gemini. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, you said no spank you, no spank you. <laughs> Um, and, and you know, I, 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 I gotta say that this king is really, really, um, has the really good intentions as far it, well, I ain't gonna say good. I'm gonna say determined. Uh, oh, that's, I like that better. Has some determination, uh, to make this men's or show some type of emotional, uh, exchange with you. Let's say it like that. Um, but you said, no, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Now, like I said, I don't think this is something that's uh, stopping you. Um, I think it's just a moment of nostalgia that goes through your mind every now and again, that you, that even at the end, if, even if the thought begins uh, serene because you're remembering good times, it ends in like, no, I, I, I'm okay. Because you start remembering everything else, if that makes sense. Um, I want to talk about the five of air future energy for Gemini. Thank you so much. And we have strength, Leo energy. This, uh, whoever this is, Gemini, because I honestly don't think it's you. I think it's another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They are really having um, a hard time with their transformation. And you're connecting to this person. So either they're not... How can I say that? Because you went through this process and I think that they're a little behind you in their process, if that makes sense. Tell me more. That doesn't mean that you're not meant to connect. It just means that you might have to be a little bit of uh, patient with this person because you're a little further ahead than they are. Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, like I said. Yeah, their pain is lasting a little longer, a little longer, and it's a little harder, and everybody's entitled to their process. Now, if this is you getting over this, 
so be it. You're entitled to your process. I still stand by my original statement. But, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is a turtle with hemorrhoids. That's how slow this energy is. And for whatever reason, this person is really slow uh, to come out of this pain. Because they're at the end. The Ten is here with the Ten of Swords. They're at the very end. But for whatever reason, that just... that. Like I said, it, it felt like death energy. Um, that transformation from that 10 to start the new cycle is harder for them or you. Um, I, I really feel like it's them. I, I'm not going to lie. That That's just, I want to leave that like that for now. Uh, the maiden is at the bottom of the deck, which is um, faithful energy, fertile energy, self-loving, self-confidence. It's very sexy, uh, chasing dreams and goals, aspirations, desires, everything that's tying into what we've been talking about. I think that's really how you're feeling right now. I want one more. I'm sorry. The night. Give me one more. Future energy, please. And there's the Six of Cups. See, it, the Knight just said, just give me one more. It, it's not, this may be, uh, uh, what do you call, a past life reconnect. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it is emotional balance. It's emotional fulfillment. I think that if you're moving or looking for love or moving into a place where you see it's, you know what, things have been going pretty good. I think I'm ready to get back out there. You may run, run into somebody that you actually connect with, um, surprisingly connect with. They might seem a little not your normal type, uh, to be honest with you, but you're going to connect. You're going to feel something. It's just that when you try to pursue uh, a little further, they might pull back a little bit uh, because they're still going through their transformation. So if you um, are interested, you know, I would, you know, give the person maybe some time, maybe spread out the uh, days or between calls, you know, and let them know um, I'm not, it's not that I'm not thinking of you. It's more so that I'm just trying to give you your space. And so that they can see that, you know, uh, you understand, let's say it like that. You understand. Okay. Bottom of the deck, nine of wands. Yep. I like it. Um, protecting your territory, uh, protecting your grounds, um, and this may be honestly your person also protecting their territory and grounds because they're still fresh in their transformation. So they may be a little bit apprehensive to break down those walls for you and let you in. You know what I mean? They might not be ready, but it's coming to an end. World energy four cups here. It's coming to an end. And then the king of pentacles. So um, they're really on the same page as you as far as security and foundation and goals and things like that. I like this connect. It just may seem a little off. I'm just saying it may seem a little off. All right. Just if you're interested and you are vibing with this um, energy, um, then be patient with this person. Let them go through their process. Don't you don't have to remove yourself from the picture, but you also don't have to stop living. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working for you. All right. Um, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And uh, eventually they should catch up. If they don't, then I'm sure God has something else out there for you because you're looking absolutely mother loving fabulous. All right. I'm going to go out here and give me a Gemini tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, I love you. <laughs> I hope this helps. Okay. If it doesn't resonate for you, that's all right. Check your moon, rising signs, but don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.